Hi floral friends and welcome back to a new floral observations where we are diving into a brand new floral design competition show on HBO Max. So exciting. Absolutely. It is called Full Bloom and as Garrett said it is on HBO Max, the new streaming service from HBO. Um, they are, it seems like they're releasing two episodes at a time every week. Usually. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it is a traditional competition format, you know, two real challenges per, per episode. Um, it seems there's kind of like a mini challenge and then like a, a bigger challenge going on mm -hmm. um, in each one. And then we've got three celebrity judges. Um, so our, our first uh, of the, the three judges is Simon Lysette. We remember Simon, he was one of our um, guest judges from the Big Flower Fight. He is a um, floral designer to the queen herself, mm -hmm. Chelsea gold medalist, um, really all around badass floral designer. Um, we also have Maurice Harris of Bloom and Plume, who is a um, designer to the stars, as well as Elizabeth Cronin, um, who's another celebrity floral designer. Um, so with the three of them kind of, you know, heading up the judging and then the two challenges each, each, uh, each episode, it should be a very fun season. Yeah. So with our challenges, we have a personal challenge where each designer, there are 10, do a personal design to a specific theme or have a focal flower as a hero flower. And then the top two become the leaders. They are the team leaders for the overall full bloom challenge. Uh, these are very like large scale, very big. The very first one is ginormous. Huge. It is ginormous. And we see mechanical struggles. We see weird judging. We see, see a lot. interesting treatment of flowers. Very interesting. And we also see very interesting perspectives of design. And so let's get into it. The very first episode is titled Ready Set Grow. It is introducing us to all 10 designers. We actually know a few of them, probably yeah. like two or three of them personally, uh, want to know more of them personally because they each have their own personal style. It's a fascinating cast. Thing. It is is a very good, anybody in that cast you could hang out with, you could chill and relax and love flowers. So the first challenge for the personal show your expression, who are you, is a floral waterfall. I'm so excited they are giving two hours an excessive amount of flowers, which we'll get to what happens so far at the end, which I really love what they do with the flowers. Their flower selection is yes. amazing. It's like I saw that that their you know flower shop to choose from. Yeah, and I just oh, immediately fall. everything, anything. It is the coolest, most trend-setting flowers of the moment, and you don't even have to paint because there's a lot of dyed or painted stuff mm -hmm. already. Or you a lot of dry paint. florals there Absolutely. too. Like the the whoever was in charge of of. Procuring all of that stuff did a really great job of keeping yeah. things modern, fresh. And unlike other flower shows, while they don't tell you where they're from, every so often they will hint at it. They'll show the boxes from a rose company. They'll there was a Milano and Sons truck. There was an Oasis it's, floral box. They're more open about the sources of where it is. So in our first task, we see a hero flower, which is your focal flower, is very prominent. Has to be a focus. Your waterfall can be whatever it is, but it must waterfall down onto your table and you have two hours yeah so let's get into it yeah um our first up we have ace Berry afd he is from texas i have known ace very very long time uh we met through aifd doing symposiums very talented designer used to work uh on an oil rig and now it's a florist which is fascinating but he went with pink he is a straight man favorite color is pink I live for it. wearing pink while yeah. he was doing it. He was one of the most stand out when he walked in the room in that because everyone's kind of more laid back with their outfits. They're a little bit more muted. And he's like, absolutely not. I am big, sexy, and ready to go. And you will see me. And I love that. I love presence. I love confidence. Yeah. But uh, what we're seeing is his design. It is a beautiful type of dried wood. Um, I'm going to go straight out and say that I do bloom it. Uh, for those that don't know, we bloom or prune, and I'm going to bloom it. I like the color choice. It stood out amongst all the other arrangements. If you're going to go blue, or you're seeing blue, as you know from other floral observations, we go up, we go sideways, we do the opposite. And when he chose his favorite color, it was the opposite from everyone in the room. It made a presence, mm -hmm. but it was still calm and relaxing. And so pink hydrangea were originally his focal flower. He went into Talencia's, which I love. It's a little bit harder to see in the images they, sh they show you, but it does wrap around with the blooms. 
I think it could have been a little bit more waterfall, a little bit more focus on how the water flows instead of just dripping down and pooling. But I give it a bloom. It's really beautiful. I think this is a gorgeous design. It's also a bloom from me. Um, those pink ginger are like really stand out, um, mm -hmm. especially in the placements that he chose throughout. I think they're really like wise. Um, the Talancias are gorgeous and yes. <laughs> I am obsessed with every single one of them. Um, and yeah, this is, this is totally a, a bloom. I think he did a great job. I think this is a great showing for a first challenge. Um, as you said, the, the water falling effect, I think maybe there were, maybe there were others that maybe accomplished that a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Um, however, I think this is, there's a nice flow to it. Um, and it's, it's, it's got a beautiful cooling effect. So yeah. I think that's a, it's, it's in the same realm as a waterfall, I guess. So I, I blew it. Yeah. So it's a beautiful design. One thing to note in this and some other ones is the judges will use the proper names. So we're seeing Zero Graphica. They also acknowledge it as air plants for people that maybe not know plants. But having Zero Graphica, having air plant or Talencia is really exposing what these plants' names are. So if customers come in, they are more familiar with mm -hmm. it. So our next one, we are looking at actually one of the winners she won overall spoiler alert <laughs> so we have Chantal Nin and she blew the judges away you can start with the bloom or prune um yeah I'm gonna give this one a, a bloom I know that you might not fully agree with me on this one I I love this I have some issues I take some issues with the shape mm -hmm. um with the overall shape I feel like it gets real thick real quick um up in up in this part of it and i feel like it could have been maybe a little bit more delicate however i love the um the colors like i love the color play of this um the the like touches of this kind of like beigey white you know yellow in there i feel like it's really nice and kind of lends to the sparkle effect of water for me okay. um i just think it's a little maxi um, it's a little, she could have left some room to breathe and I feel like the, the form there is not the best. However, I still do give this a bloom. I think it's overall, I think it's a, a pretty design and I like the way that she just kind of went in for it. Yeah. Um, I think it is like, if I could yawn, I would yawn. I think it is an absolute prune. This is my first prune of this, uh, this episode in the season of the show. It is old. I've seen this design a million times. It's actually in the, when the judges are describing what the contest pieces will be, they show a, like a actual pot doing the waterfall. It is so literal. When also you are telling us that you are a natural designer and this is supposed to express who you are as a designer, this disappoints me. You instantly went to dyed flowers. You went to things that are color enhanced, which I love as a deconstructive, mm -hmm. explorative designer, it could, it is very beautiful. It is literally a big letter L in a mass. Yeah. There's no depth or dimension to it. And I do find it interesting to have our pot on the top that drips down, but no, it is, it is boring. It's 1985. I've seen this also in really basic flower shops. Yeah. They literally have order gather arrangements that are this, to a certain degree. Yeah. The colors, the they're colors. beautiful. The colors are very beautiful, but it is boring. Yeah. So she gets a prune. I'm missing balance. I'm missing different types of variety of depth. So next. Next. Mr. Justin. Um, I live for Justin is a personality. Yes. However, with this, it's another prune. I'm missing balance. This is a um the color harmony is very odd to me. You see very strange placements throughout. The roses could come out. And the judges did say that his he needed more emphasis on his hero flower um, or his vocal flower, which is the orchids. But how these roses are completely take away. If this was just orchids and the Lizzie and this and the foliage, maybe I would enjoy it more. But the balance is off. You have such a wide amount, and visually, if this is a waterfall, it should pour right down. It wouldn't just curve into this pot. If it had poured down and you had the pot and then it was splashing out, it would make more sense. So it's a prune. Yeah, it's a big old prune for me too. Um, I just don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't like the, the pots thing happening. Like you said, this is not a natural flow. Yeah. The way that he's put the stems in here with these kind of just weird breaks, um, it's just not a successful design. It's yeah. a prune. That's all I can Double say. Double prune, next. 
Spencer Falls. He is the third trap of the season. He's from New Zealand. Um, I, <laughs> he is. If you've watched reality TV, you know that there are certain people placed there. He's third trap. He's a very attractive man. He's got a nice accent. But this design is not it. Mm -hmm. This is an absolute prune. I've never seen a waterfall that goes up and then back down. A waterfall pours down and it moves out. Uh, these lines. That's what I'm saying. What's going on right here? What is this? Distracting. What's... And then the arrangement here is different than the arrangement here. We have two designs. The color harmony, while it's pinks, is also very confusing. What is the so, hero flower also? I actually don't know what the hero flower is because they didn't really acknowledge it in the show. I guess it so. might be the protea. It Maybe. May... It's a prune. I don't it's have balance. I don't have a good line. It doesn't really actually waterfall. No. So. Prune. Prune. Kristen. I was fascinated by this. She had mechanical issues, and for those that know us, we love mechanics. That being said, I must, I, can I start with this one? I, I will let you start. I'm gonna start with this one, and there's 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 I have feelings about this. <laughs> I have feelings. Kristen, we love you. Kristen, I love I do. <laughs> I love you. I follow you on Instagram for a long time. I love you. Um I don't know how to feel about like I love I love this design where it like where it wants to be. Like I love the the, the concept. concept of yeah. this design. I love everything the thought behind this design. And I even love the the real water, like the real way that she tossed that bucket and she was out there throwing <laughs> that water. It was really and good. the way that she's done it is, you know, she's she's really tried at it and I love that. And I love the we all know I love blue. Blue is my, my <laughs> favorite color. I also really like the fact that she just went out with it with this paint, but like the you know the the, the bucket and the didn't try to go like one of these it. like you know overly pretty things. Like I, I just love the the concept, the yeah. straightforward concept. Unfortunately, it is not successful. Um, but the concept was is so strong. I think had she had she maybe had a little bit more time to plan things out, I think this could have definitely yeah. been the top. Um, however, I am gonna whoop, whoa, I went backwards. However, I, I am gonna that. have to um, prune this because it's just it didn't. She didn't do what she she wanted to do. Um, I'm gonna give it a very soft bloom, a very on the edge bloom. Blue is very typical. However, she did it well with the baby's breath and the other textures. And I love the, the white in there to yeah, show that the, reflection. You have really nice depth. We don't see it, but we know that judges said that she had space is showing. I am only judging on what I can see. Hydrangeas are going down, but I don't mind the texture. Other designers have that issue too. Yeah. Blue, stereotypical, whatever, but she had a concept. She's the only designer that actually looked to see how water moved. If they're giving you a challenge that has a specific focus, do it. Yeah. And so I give a soft one because she actually, I like that it's not just water falling down. When you do look at a bucket, it's going multiple mm -hmm. ways. There is thought, there's the story, and I think a lot of these designs is how they tell the story and how they introduce it. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a soft bloom. Her concept was definitely the strongest. Yeah, it was everyone. a fascinating concept. So, soft bloom. Who will? Next. Oh, I love Beth. Do you want to start with Miss Beth? Uh, yeah, I'll go with Beth. Um, I, I'm i going to bloom this design because mm -hmm. I think it's a beautiful design. Do I agree with Maurice that it is a little dated? Yes, Beth, I love you, but it is a little dated. Um, and that is in the, just like some of the techniques that are that are done and I think the flower choices. Mm -hmm. um, however, it is done impeccably. It, the, 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 it is a waterfall, it, and I'm getting that. I think it's beautifully done. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bloom. <laughs> um, Beth, I love you. You are lovely. You are a great designer, but this is a prune, baby. Ooh. This is not it, not sis. It. I don't agree with Maurice with the movement of the grass. It's such a quick, it creates movement without needing a whole lot. I don't see how it's dated. I see when it's dated when it's like roses and bubbles of it. I don't think that's what's dated. I think the oh, overall you up the grass period. Oh. I yeah, think the overall that. vibe. I and mean, I think that to me that it's more of a color and like the the like the the technique of the the leaves the up there with I the grass. Has and nothing to do with the color. I don't mind the color. It is a big shoe or letter L and a big old solid green thing. Um, there is line. There's a little bit of depth, but from the image that we see, it is a big old letter L 
It doesn't naturally waterfall to me. It goes bam and then bam. There's not a pool to it. There's not a delicate flowing down. I see kind of what we saw in one of the other ones. It's too massed and solid for me to have a waterfall. So unfortunately, it's a that. prune for me. And also, let me just say though, I, like, I, I can totally see what he's saying, but also let me say, like, the, we are judging off of one photo. Mm -hmm. and, and it's our and, personal opinion. And it's our personal opinion, and we yeah. have not been on set, and we have not worked we for two hours. We don't know what the time is. And they're done we, a whole day on set. We just have observations. Set. We only have our observations. So if you don't agree, tell us in the comments. Maybe I'll fight you. Maybe. So, next. Ooh. I'll let prune. you start with this. Prune. All I gotta say is prune. It's just, it's, it's not a waterfall. Uh, it looks like a basket fell over, a basket of flowers fell over, and that is what happened. There's no, I don't understand it. I don't like it. Um, as you can see, this is Christina's. <laughs> Thank you for introducing her. This is Christina's. Uh, she was our first eliminated designer. I actually am not as hardcore mad at it. Um, I'm mad at if it. If I saw someone holding a basket and pouring it over, it comes down and it pulls. It's exactly what they asked for. I'm going to soft bloom this. Because one, I love them roses. Two, mechanics were covered. She was the only one of the few that actually the folded. Mechanics were covered, yeah. Um, the other side is more beautiful. But like to me, if I was to hold this and tip it over, it is pulling from waterfalling down. Is it shorter? Yes. If is it? It looks skinny? like it was no. sitting on a ledge right up here, and someone knocked it off. And, and everything waterfalled and pulled up. I don't mind it. I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's strong. I think it's soft bloom because it's what they asked for. And Christina, you're real cute, but this is not it. I thought it was fine, but that's the thing. It's another yawn. It's fine. It's expected. So this is a lot. Connor, baby. Connor won. I love this. Second stuff. place, I believe. And it's a lot, but it's it's really also it's it's it's. I feel like it looks like a lot more than it is because of the texture yeah. usage that he chose. I'll let you start because I got the. I got feelings. Um, this is a this is a bloom for me. This is definitely a bloom. Um, I think that it is appropriate that he won uh, as one of the team leader, or, like got to be one of the team leaders mm -hmm. with this design. Um, I get a waterfall, not so much from this image. Um, and this is another problem with the, our format that we're doing here. We're only looking at this one image, but because when it was shown all around, and this is what one of the judges said too, because when it was mm -hmm. shown from a different vantage point, it was an actual full waterfall. Yeah. So like this side is maybe a little bit more structural to set up where the waterfall was. Yeah. Um, but I love it. I love the, his his choice of products, um, the vibe that it gives off. I'm here for it. This is a this is a bloom for me. I prune. It's um, a prune for me only because. I have the same products going up very aggressively and then directly down. I don't get it waterfalling from something or a river that pulls me up and then back down. It's You still have stems that go the wrong direction. And when Maurice was talking about the the actually what created the waterfall, he was specifically pointing out the this, wood. It's Well, and it's, and it's these carnations that you but can't see on the other side. But the only the judge said when he went to the other side was not the carnations. He said the wood pulls you to one point and connection... Well, that's not what the judge said, but me judging, I I'm saying that's what I saw I was these beautiful you said carnations. Because all of these angles that go the wrong way, it's a beautiful design. It's a prune because it's not a waterfall. Oh. It has nothing to do with the waterfall. And how your angles and lines are don't produce a waterfall. It's a triangular arrangement with all of the stems, there's some that go down. This is beautiful. I love the use of the carnations dripping. However, no man. But it went the whole way on the other side of the arrangement. I'm here for it. It was, the, that was the waterfall she's part of prune. it. She's a prune, she's not She's not a waterfall. Mariella, This baby. is a prune for me. Um, I didn't get why the judges love this so much. It's Because it's not a waterfall. Color. All of these are going, it's just what you just said, all of these it's, are going up. There's nothing going down I, except for this one singular palm. I will have to say, just like the last one, the directions don't really make sense. I love that you had the concept of a phoenix. I don't know what a phoenix has to do with a waterfall. That's the, the having the inspiration that takes you away from the set theme in any competition is already setting you back five steps. And so while it was a phoenix idea and I was like, yeah, give me phoenix, I need the feathers to waterfall out. Or to have something like the flames or like, down from it. Or if you want to, you know, maybe do like the burning up top and then the ashes dripping yeah, down. There's a lot of ways that you could have done it, but you had instantly, without connecting waterfall, taking it to a different design style. If it was create some kind of mythical beast or something along those lines, a little bit better. However, 
like Matt was saying, the angle or where we are placing our line takes me to not a waterfall. It's too much reinforced to a vertical design. It's beautiful color harmony. Gorgeous However, color harmony, and I love her product usage. Yeah, the, the, but we're not getting gorgeous. a waterfall. So Mariella, it is beautifully colored. The textures are nice, but I think we went to left field of what the judges had really cast for. Mm -hmm. I love that deep red eucalyptus in there too. Mm -hmm. Like the product choice was wonderful. The the prune 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 yeah yeah prune. You can start with this because I know we have different feelings about this. Um. Hi, Adam. We hi, Adam. Adam. <laughs> we do have different feelings about this. I love that he chose to use other products. Um, I, I, as a person who leans towards mixed media usage mm -hmm. in their floral design, I really gravitate towards that. Um, the execution overall is where I'm lost. Mm -hmm. It just... It just gets messy. Um, I am gonna soft bloom this um, because I do. I it's do. I get. A, it's a waterfall. Um, I. I like the, the. The there is clearly a hero flower, and that is that protea. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so all of the, the the check marks for the challenge are met. Um, so it is a soft bloom. There's just something about the execution that seems a little messy. It yeah. is, yeah, there's not a fine edit to it. I agree, it's a soft bloom. The colors are beautiful. Colors are gorgeous. I get that very soft, like Hawaii, mm -hmm. like a very tropical, really, really bright waterfall. It's a waterfall. Um, and I like that the flowers are not made to be the waterfall. They are pieces of things dripping down the waterfall. Totally. Fascinating concept that others didn't try to do. They were too literal in thinking, I have to make a waterfall that is made out of flowers. They said you just had to make a floral waterfall. These are flowers flowing down the waterfall. And it's definitely, like, it is clearly a waterfall. The, the His usage yeah. of the plastic or the mylar or whatever that and is. And the color so harmony was very gorgeous. smart because just like with Aces, it really, to me, stood out in the room because it was a color choice or you get that almost iridescence in the, the plastic that takes me to a different experience of water. Totally. So soft bloom. Yeah. So let's get into teams, I believe. Is that is that where we're at next? Yeah. yeah. So how, let's talk about what the challenge was. So you get first and second place become, in the individual challenge, become the team leaders of the full bloom challenge, which is very that was, large. That was Chantel and uh, Connor. Connor were our two team leaders. And we have a group task of taking a Van Gogh painting and making it in a super duper large scale. This does not tell you how big it was. It Massive. has to be Massive. What, 30, 40 feet? At least. At least 30 to 40 it was feet massive. tall. It was ginormous. Check it out. This is an episode not to miss, but it was mural. Really, work. really great way to kick off the season. Yeah, and it was inter excited. your interpretation of a Van Gogh painting since Chantal won first place. She got to pick. Hers, there was the options between Van Gogh's sunflowers and then there was Van Gogh's poppies and daisies. Mm -hmm. And we see Chantel pick sunflowers and her team was Adam, Mariella, and Christina and Justin. Um, I'll let you start. I'll start by saying that is not the one that I would have picked. Um, <laughs> it may be the more recognizable off the bat Van Gogh painting. Um, that's, I think, maybe why she was drawn to it. Um, however, um, the color palette of the painting is a lot more uh, limited, so it, it requires a more finite skill of texture, depth, scale, um, things like that, and I, and I just don't think that they accomplished it. Um, they did, I mean, I'm gonna have to bloom it because it is gorgeous. Anything on that scale, like, it's beautiful, and I, and I can definitely tell that it is that painting. Um, yeah. However, oops, okay. however, there are mechanics showing um, just right across the top here. You can see a bunch of the grid throughout showing the middle, throughout. So um, also, they decided to put some paint uh, on some of the pompous, but also didn't even do it well. Like there's like these kind of streaky lines across mm -hmm. some of it and not across some of it. It's just kind of messy. They didn't they didn't come up with a plan, honestly. Um, 
and I think it, it really hurt them. It's a, it's a, it's a soft bloom, yeah. but I'm going to bloom it because it is still, I still get what it, I can still tell by looking at it what it is, um, but it's, it's not done as well as the other team. It's a prune. Go for um, it. No matter the scale, no matter the size, <clears throat> when I look at this, I'm not seeing the detail of the vase. I don't see the individual areas of flowers. This is not a sunflower. Also, there are 12 sunflowers in that original painting, and the painting, I believe, is called 12 sunflowers. You can, and I, it looks like there, you ran out of time. It is cool. It's not beautiful to me. Um, we are hardcore into mechanics. And again, we don't know the timing. We don't know really what access there is. I know that you have to do interviews through it and everything. This team also did not work that well together. While they did praise, like, Adam and Justin for getting stuff up and everything. There wasn't, from what we saw, that much communication. We did get to see that editing of uh, Mariella and Chantel, and they kind of have that Mariella's difficult and she's hard to work with. It's very important to remember, no matter if you're a leader of a team at your own shop, you are now working with leaders of their own shop. So you have to quickly adjust to how to work with people's own styles, own yeah. skill sets, and like Matt was saying, well, there was no plan around people's skill sets. Yeah, anybody can lift up and drill it into the wall. That to me does not make you a great part of the team. You are now just hands. Yeah. Um, Christina, while her first design, her individual design wasn't the best, she was still designing stuff. She was still doing multiple jobs throughout. We see Christina eliminated, but she still was very part yeah. of the team. Um, I, honestly, Michael, I did have a hard time being communicating. I think. Yeah, Chantal didn't communicate the best, and neither did that's, Mariella. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Chantal was a very great team leader from that the start. Was, she don't, I don't think she that she did a very a very um, big. You know, yeah. she really planned anything out, and I, and then I think her communication lacked throughout the challenge. Yeah. From what at least from what we saw mm -hmm. in the editing. And, um, but yeah. like, why I prove this is the challenge is you are doing an interpretation and a design on scale of a Van Gogh painting of sunflowers. No matter how beautiful or interesting it is, it's not sunflowers in any kind of interpretation by Van Gogh. So that's why I prune it. You didn't accomplish the challenge. So. Fair enough. Let's see our next winning. one. This was our winning design. Um, fascinating. This is Gorgeous. Tim Connor. He had red poppies and daisies by Van Gogh. This team was Ace, Beth, Kristen, and Spencer. It did everything right. The other team didn't. Oh my god, they worked together so well. Yeah. They worked like one big team. It was communication. It's just like any kind of relationship, you have to have communication. If something was a little too loose or there was a hole somewhere, it wasn't questioning each other. It was, I'm filling the hole. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say, oh, I don't think so, or I think I'm not the team leader. I also, am part of the team. They started off really strong too. Mm -hmm. They went in with the plan. They said, we are going to make this vase first. This is, you know, this vase is such a big mass of the arrangement that isn't as nearly as detailed as, you know, the rest of it. They were like, this is something we can, mm -hmm. we can get out of here, just get it done. And they did it. They got it up there. And it was, I feel like, a, such a morale booster for their team to have that up there for yes. so long you see some prior to the other team did to yeah. see it up there and it gave them that boost to be like oh well there's not that much else to fill <laughs> in which really helps the psyche especially yeah. in a challenge like this i could imagine um the amaranthus in it is amazing like their, their use of flowers that they did was so good um it's a it is it's a it's a bloom it's a show bloom i and big blooms on this because when you can take a flower and make it look like something else that it is not, even especially when it's another flower, captivating. These big sunflowers bloom. as the daisy centers. Very so smart cute. and it, the texture and the color on that scale is really nice. This is where interpretive floral design is important. We know these are poppies. They may blend and more have depth and kind of mesh together. However, you see centers, you see a variety see, of yeah, colors. Yeah, the flat centers are all throughout. And you see depth. I'm sitting on a flat screen looking at an image, and I can see where things pull in and out visually. The amaranthus all throughout. <laughs> so successful. And smartly placed. It's because it also really helps nice. cover it also helps cover places like connection points where, you know, points bind together and things, you know. And um, there's one thing that the ooh. judges woo, had said, there is a solid black line. It does not bother me. It doesn't bother me one bit. Because when I'm seeing this scale, everything else is so important. It is a harsh line. I would have done moss black, or I would have done a texture black, but 
but it doesn't bother me. Uh, we know Kristen loves her spray paint. Kristen, baby, we see you with that spray paint, especially as people that Love use Design paint. Master in everything we do. It could have been a little bit more buffed up. We could have done the solid black, and then come back in very lightly with a, a white or silver, or hit it lightly with a gray and then a green, and we just diffuse it out a little that bit. herbal, like a very beautiful herbal. herbal be yeah. Like there's the herbal design master, and with this, I would almost hit it with the flannel gray. Um, and that but would, it really doesn't bother. But that's nitpicking. Yeah, I'm nitpicking at a point where I. That's like the one critique nitpick. that the judges have. So mm -hmm. that's something that we can easily focus in on. When all the judges can decide, oh, we have to find something wrong, you're doing great. And it's exactly what they asked for. It's gorgeous. Again, this is like 40 plus feet. It's huge. And they did an amazing job. Communication. I give it a bloom for communication, interpretation, and actual technique. Yeah. I could never accomplish this. We do see some a little bit exposed mechanics, but you're so focused on how well done everything else is. I... And again, nitpicking because you're looking. Everybody wants you to fail. That's the thing. Everybody wants to see, not failure, but I want to be able to find what's wrong with it, not why it's perfect. So Another thing I just have to say I love about this show um, is that after these, after they're done with their judging, they mm -hmm. take these designs. And, you know, this was filmed during COVID epidemic. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who don't know. They're kept on a ranch. There's a beautiful ranch in LA, like right outside LA, I believe, mm -hmm. that they are kept in. But, you know, it was, and this was filmed at beginning, you know, it was in March. It was when mm -hmm. things were going on. And then I think they went back in July or June or July to, to refilm or to finish filming. And yep. so like, this was during the peak when people were really, you know, locked down. They take these pieces and then they put them in the community. So we saw the first episode, they take these two big pieces at the end of it and they put it at um, Cedars uh, Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. which is just, you know, so amazing. I think it's such a great gift to the community. But on top of that, every flower in the flower shop that is not used is made into beautiful bouquets. It's not some grab and go bouquet. They put them in nice paper. They have a nice ribbon or bow on them mm -hmm. and they are handed to all of the people at the hospital, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a secretary, or a mom there with your child, they were using the flowers to spread love, attention to flowers, and just appreciation. And not a single stem goes to waste, which is so here for so that. key because we don't see or know what happens in other floral competitions. We know from behind the scenes of doing shows and stuff, maybe flowers kind of just drift away or thrown in the trash. So it's very good to see them taken out of the wrappers, taken and given to people in a nice, presentable way, not just a grab and go, toss it out kind of thing. So I really like that that's how they end every show is with sending the flowers or the designs that were made to appreciate mm -hmm. people that are helping the community and celebrating people that help the community. So that wraps it up. What is your bloom of the week? I mean, does it is it a cop out if I choose this team design? No, because it's this. This is a shabloom. This is amazing. This is what I came here to see the show. <laughs> like what I want to see from the show. Yep. And granted, it was a team challenge, and there was some really, as you can see, some really talented designers on this team. But this is amazing, and I think Con Connor did such great, uh, such a great job mm -hmm. um, in leading this team um, and letting this team kind of have uh, letting each person's strengths on this team speak for themselves. Yeah. Um, so I yeah, agree. this or so yeah, this. this my this, this is, is also my bloom of the week. Um, communication is very hard. We've both read, led teams. We compete for those that don't know. We compete together internationally as a team, and it can be hard to communicate with your best friend. I mean, as you can see, we clearly don't agree on everything yeah, throughout this. So. But it's hard to see into the minds of other people when it's just us. But to look into the minds of four other people, or if you work by yourself instantly having really high talent that has their own mind so connor did such a great job communicating the rest of the team did a good job communicating but also being part of the team we are not individuals we are a team mm -hmm. nobody succeeds without each other the techniques are really what set me apart because i see the table texture i see the depth I can see where these placements were very important. The counts and numbers are there. Even if they didn't have every number of every poppy, they have it in a way you would never know in a million years. So not just on top of how the team worked, skill and technique, amazing. Yeah. So make sure 
to join us for next week on Monday. Every Monday, we're going to have full observations, and we're getting into episode two. I get so much in episode two. I know you two do also, because they're going into designs we have done before or techniques we've done and we love. And so join us next Monday for another four observations. Any okay. parting thoughts? No, I mean, I, my parting thoughts are thank you to all of the competitors on this season for, I think, what is going to be a really fun time. Because mm -hmm. so far, it seems like everyone's kind of brought their, brought their game. Yeah. So see you next Monday, uh, floral friends, and have a wonderful week. Bye. Bye.